I think it was a party time, which actually still is a party time. Okay. And um, uh, basically, in 1870, the U.S. Congress made Independence Day an unpaid holiday for federal employees. You were reading down further on the thing. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, because it's the same year. Oh. Yeah, so. Um, in, eight, in 1938, Congress changed Independence Day to a paid federal holiday. I think it was the first of them. Oh, and, oh, the first holiday that was paid for. Okay, now this is the part I always love, which is the customs. Yep. Because th these are the fun parts, okay? And uh, see, every, I mean, one of the things, I don't know about you, on the 4th of July, I set my DVR to record all these celebrations. You can watch all of them at the same time. Try to watch, they're here, here, here. <laughs> and uh, I can't, you know, basically, I don't get to see all of them. My mind doesn't work. Oh. It's never worked. So in Miami, they light up one of the tallest buildings with a patriotic red, white, and blue scheme. They also do that in New York, which always has. Well, actually. I love to see the New York celebrations. Of course, here in Southern California, we get to see it on TV. Yeah, because it, it just does hurt here, so we get to see all the celebrations. I know. So when I was growing, when I was younger, though, we used to have mummers uh, celebrations in Philadelphia and other places which they don't do anymore because it's, uh, the air time is too valuable to do something like that. So. Well, in some of the different cities, I mean, I've seen some fabulous Fourth of July celebrations in Chicago, yeah, Monday City, Chicago over the harbor. Good, yeah, because they go out there and never over the, It's like over the lake. It was, it was yeah, really they, nice. And then Newport Beach, Rhode Island. Yeah. Right? They, you know, the ships were all like honking their horns or the, the yachts and boats or whatever. They know. have a decent, they have some, uh, actually we don't, I, I haven't seen a real celebration. Uh, there other, they used to sell Santa Monica's pulled theirs. Um, I know, a lot of the places, I mean, you can find, in, in our no, local newspaper, we can find all the different places where they're doing fireworks, the local yeah. places. But other places like the Queen Mary does a celebration. Which actually, we, we, the, never, the we, never, we never take the Queen Mary up, which we keep because it's it's a god awful all day and all night thing. You're there for the press people like at about eight o'clock in the morning. You don't leave, I know. and basically you know you're there. But um, but every baseball, every every baseball, baseball celebrates it. Um, also, the amusement parks usually have fireworks. Oh, Disneyland has a celebration. We actually we actually made it one year for their 4th of July celebration. Of course, we did it afterwards. I think it was well, the 5th of July. Because one of the things they do is not only celebrate it on the actual holiday, is they have it for several days before and afterwards. But, I mean, Disneyland on its own would celebrate, well, it has fireworks night. Yeah, but it's, it's a bigger, it's okay, summer, I'm to remember, the 4th of July celebration at Disneyland is a different one than the one that they, they change the music and becomes patriotic. It's yeah. just like it's a it's, really kind it's of cool. totally a once a year thing that doesn't last for more than like four or five days. So, yeah. but uh, Macy's is the it, it, Macy's is the largest celebration in the country. The New York one. Oh, yeah. you know what else? Who, who does a good? It's Boston. You know, Boston, the Boston pops. Boston pops. We don't be on CBS again this year. And then um, Washington D.C. does their PBS special. Yeah, which yeah, is which is good because it's from the you know. Um, because I remember we were talking to, uh, I can't remember the gentleman that was in Greece, that we were talking to him, but my, 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 my little girl used to love to watch him do his stuff because the weather was always crappy and he'd have to vamp. So mm -hmm. he, he'd come out and he would do his stuff and, oh God, rain go away. Now it's basically like, like Gary Sinise and, um, and, and, and Johnny Schmidt are the ones that mm -hmm. basically go rotating back and forth holding it. Mm -hmm. Um, basically, Independence Day is a national holiday marked by patriotic displays similar to other summer themed uh, events. Independence Day often takes place out there. Uh, Independence Day is a federal holiday, so all non-essential federal institutions like the post office and federal courts are closed on mm -hmm. that day. Politicians make it a point to appear in public and even to praise the nation's heritage, laws, history, and society. They're going to really have fun with the Democrats this year because they're really not going to buy that one. Mm -hmm. um, Families often celebrate Independence Day by hosting or attending a picnic or barbecue and take advantage of the day off. In some years, long mm -hmm. weekends together with relatives, decorations, food, <coughs> and so forth. Praise off in the morning while fireworks are playing in the evening. Such places actually, she, whatever brother, family wanted her to go to spend all night long in an area you couldn't park at to see what last year went. Then. What's that? Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, they wanted you to go over to the marina or something where you could not fly. You know, I we did the marina one before, and let, let me just say that we were driving it before. You couldn't get anywhere close. Mm -hmm. We parked at a place, and uh, you know. That distance walking was a lot further than I remembered because we decided to take the shortcut along the ocean and my relatives were so tired walking because I was used to going to the beach, right? And I was like, well, what, what's taking you so long because you're walking in the beach? I had an advantage that I lived over in that area once and I could go through the gated area around oh. where you could get the best view because they, got, they, got, they decorate the boats. I know. You know which is which is I like to go. And then the boats go out in the in the bay and they watch the fireworks. They go watch the fireworks. And I like to watch the you know the, you see the guys stroke stroke bell bell stroke stroke <laughs> bell <laughs> because the handmade boats. Uh, Venice will probably have one. They have their thing over there in the Venice canals. Oh, so that's we should right. probably check on that <laughs> one too. Um, like the night before the fourth was once the focal point of celebrations during the towns. Competed to build towering pyramids, assembled from hogs, heads, and barrels of cast. They basically, that's, that's the empty booze, folks. <laughs> they were lit at, a, at nightfall because they were used to be full of booze and spent they burned. Uh, the usher in the celebration, the highest were in Salem, Massachusetts, where they used to burn witches, folks. The gallows hill, the famous site of the execution for witchcraft. Um, <clears throat> And composed as many as 40 tiers of barrels. Those are the tallest bonfires ever recorded in any part of town down uh, you know, right there. For any of the fireworks, so we like the fireworks. I've always loved the fireworks, but I know that there's more restrictions on them there, excuse me, on fireworks than there used to be. Yeah. So you need to pay attention because they are sold for personal use. Um, yeah, as, yeah, right. As an alternative to um, a public show, but you do have to pay attention because in some cities you're really not supposed to. I'm not supposed to when I was young either. My my father was a police officer, and my the head of my baseball team was a uh, fire captain, and they would, we had a place we had uh, several mm -hmm. acres of ground in Culver City and Culver City behind us, mm -hmm. and we would sit there at one end of the property and fire bottle rockets towards the other end of the property, and the people at the other end of the property would fire bottle rockets back. And everybody would come around, we'd play music and stuff, and, and they would say, you know, you're going to get in trouble with the police, and then you, you see a guy come out in a uniform, I don't think they're going to get in trouble with the police. These are the police. And they said, <laughs> well, then they would do, well, we're going to have to call the fire department, and then the fire, we are the fire department. <laughs> yeah, so, but we had this god awful big place. What would happen was for days before, You'd be uh, getting the ground. No, wet. we would get everything wet. Yeah. I mean, we would soak the property and then make you know because it was it was like this. We were we were this we were too far this direction and bottle rockets off and too far that. You could not have washed anything that we had available in that time period far enough to get it off the property. Mm -hmm. But then because everything was soaked because we put the rain we put our wading birds out. We I mean you could walk on the water, folks. Mm -hmm. So it was really. You know, you know, like you flood the grounds, water all the plants, and we didn't really have a problem with water restriction back in those days either. But there well, was now a lot of we fun. do. I mean, I, I always, I always thought that. I remember when we were growing up. You know, it's like you're not supposed to do fireworks, and Dad's like, "Oh, fine, just tell them you're Chinese and it's your religion." Yeah, but, <laughs> I, like, really, it's your but I can remember. <laughs> it's like it's your religion that you can do. And it's like you're Chinese. It's your heritage. But who do you think? Was the fa the kids that basically most abused the fireworks and stuff? Probably the kids of the police and the kids of the. It was the kids of the fire department. Fire, fire department. Because they yeah. go, you know, they go, you know, they, they tell, okay, when you get done with your sparklers, put it in the bucket full of water. When you get done with the with the bottle, right? You know, anything, put it in the bucket. When you get done with the fountain, put it in the bucket, and uh, you hear, you know. I say, hey, okay, honey, did you do? Did you put your sparklers in the in the bucket? And they say, yes, daddy. And then they go, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. well, they have more bird feet than you can imagine. Uh, also, yeah, 
we're closed-toed shoes. <laughs> but, yeah, right. um, and over here at the beach at Venice, they always have some like muscle beach contest or something for the 4th of July. Though we should check and see if it's actually on the 4th if they're going to do it on the weekend. Uh, I don't remember. Well, the 4th is a holiday, remember? The business is uttered that. that, that I know, and it's, so, and it's in the middle of the week. So uh, we will. It's generally, the 4th is the one holiday that actually is allowed to move because everything else that Because it is on the 4th. They, they come on Mondays. So, uh, because they try to have a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the federal workers, but they never can get the 4th move. So, mm -hmm. in the middle of the week, everything, the, you know, the government shuts down one day a week no matter when. Well, and yeah. part of it is since it's in the middle of the week, there's probably a lot of people taking the entire week off. Because yeah. I don't know about you, but it's like here in Southern California, it's like the BET happens the week before, and X Games, oh, actually, X Games are getting ready to start. Yeah. And so people are getting antsy about the holiday coming up, and they're starting already, and it's like, it's next week, midweek, and it's like everybody's already starting. Mm, you can always kind of feel it, you know? We, we drove by we fireworks stands yesterday, yeah. which fireworks stands in the middle of places that totally forbid firework use, which I always find, because what happens is, is that like our place, why everybody would come to our place? Because we were on a county island in the middle of a city, and the county rules. Technically, my father could not work for the Los Angeles Police Department because he was in the county. Well, and the other thing is what we followed over time is that gas typically goes down several days before a holiday. It's down right now. And it's down right now. I swear, it's about 50 cents a gallon cheaper than it was three weeks ago. Yeah. And people are like, oh, are you just exaggerating? No, it's like, no. I was talking to someone, they're like, oh, you're, I'm like, no, I actually have a log book that I write. Yeah. They're like, oh, you do? I'm like, yes. But, I know what I made. We're talking gas two blocks from here is got awful expensive. And today it was cheaper than where she got her cheap gas. Yeah. And it dropped down, like yesterday, it dropped down 12 cents a gallon at the gas station closest to me. Yeah, and you from, watch. From morning till evening, so or afternoon till evening. Sunday, they're going to recover all of that. You can bet that the prices are going to go way up because they're sucker people into traveling, and once they get out there, they're going to pay the higher price. Mm -hmm. But uh, So get your gas now. <laughs> um, what did I do? Did I go down one step too far? I probably touched it. Um, oh. Independence Day fireworks are accompanied by patriotic songs such as the National Anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, God Bless America. The Yankee Doodle Dandy. Yeah. <laughs> the Stars and Stripes Forever. Um, I worked the postmark. Digital You can't sing God Bless America. <laughs> God Bless America, if you do one bar, you get in trouble with that. Oh, really? Not one bar. Oh. You, you know, the Star Spangled Banner. My country, tis of thee, great land of liberty. Stop. <laughs> that was written by Francis Scott Key. You did notice one thing about that. What? I was totally in Key. I, I know you were going to say that. I somehow. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, oh, did you know? We were talking about New York City. And they were talking about in, in 2009, New York City had the large, largest fireworks display in the country. <laughs> how, many, how much were they doing? Oh, oh we're right down there. Oh, okay. Oh, it's just with, okay, what happened is moving okay. on me. They did. They had the largest fireworks display with over, are you ready for this? 22 tons of pyrotechnics. I know, that's why I was watching that. Wow, yes. This is when they were. Okay, so clean off your DVRs. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it went on for like 25 well, straight minutes. And they're going, what? Yeah, see, because part of it is, is I tend to keep, you know, the shows on until I start watching them, right, for the prime time, not the summer season, but, you know, I, it's like, usually on the 4th of July, I usually record about five or six hours just on that yeah, one then day, you watch it, so. so I can watch Where it. It's the day we don't, we actually don't go anywhere, I got, no, we go to Venice Beach, we go to Venice Beach, but that night, we don't go out to things, so, which, uh, which is, I end up, you know, so, uh, where I'm at, you can go see fireworks. Okay, go, I basically, I, I've got all of these fireworks that go off. You can sit there and watch them. Yeah, because you go, yeah, you go from where you live and you just go look outside and watch everything. You go watch everything for about, a, you know, you hear, you hear. Last year, she was over in the parking lot over by 
my place watching this stuff. So. And in your local newspaper, yes, people still look at the local newspaper. They typically have um, some information about where all the local fireworks displays are. Yeah. You know, if you're in Chicago, Chicago is a neat place to go watch it out on the lake, though. Yeah, that you know, is. You go out and get your the high rises. I mean, uh, you go along the shoreline, camp out for you. You know, it's just the weather's nice at that time of year. Yeah. So, uh, basically, here it is. Well, the official level always falls on the 4th of July. Participation level is made very according to which day of the week it falls on. Here's a, if the holiday falls in the middle of the week, some firework displays and celebrations may take place during the weekend. For convenience, again, varying by region, because um, there are laws that actually prohibit the firing of fireworks in the middle of the week. Oh, is there sound ordinance? No, actually, yeah. I was going to say sound ordinance, but.